see what happened in this interview. So, I, like I said, I hopped on X. Like, I was getting the lineups and everything, yada, yada, yada. Um, and USA Women's National Team was trending. And I was like, what's going on? You know, I was like, cool. You know, they, you know what's happening? Uh, and Lindsay Haran ended up being in the... So where is this? Is it the Athletic? Here he goes. <laughs> okay. Hilarious. So, Lindsay Haran, U.S. Women's National Team Captain, ah, uh, just wants to talk sock. She just wants to talk sock. I mean, uh, that's oh shit! I put that all fucked up. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> it's the U.S. Women's National Captain Lindsay Haran's final morning in the States before the flight back to France to join to rejoin Lyon, her club team. She's spending it in a hotel lobby tucked away at the table talking to the athletic for an hour by her time leading a team in the spotlight how she sees her role during this time of transition and one thing above all can we think about the football haran was speaking almost exactly five months <clears throat> since i guess haran was speaking almost exactly five months since being named by then u.s women's national team head coach black co and as captain of the national team alongside Miss Alex Morgan. Haran has been getting the armband when both are on the field at the same time. The role is the fulfillment of a life goal, but also seems like a natural outcome, given how often and how intensely she thinks about the game. Uh, her first five months in the leadership role were full of notable exits. Her team from the World Cup and uh, and Vinowski and the retirements of Megan Rapino and Julie Ertz. It was capped with a big addition. U.S. Soccer announced hiring Emma Hayes as head coach. Iran, now 29 years old and with 139 senior national team caps under her belt, is part of an in-between camp too experienced to be a newcomer and too new to be on the way out it's her generation which includes rose lavelle emily sonnet and others that must be kept that must keep the team's signature fire that usa women's national team dna burning even as the team undergoes a serious rethink after its worst ever World Cup finish. We have to continue that, she says on herself and fellow in-betweeners. You have to be amongst the team for a while to know what the fuck that takes. It's one of the most competitive national teams to be a part of. No one on the team is talking about starting from scratch. It's just that they need more ways to win, more than mentality or fitness levels, more than never say die approach. That was that's what Haran said her early conversations with Hayes had been about. And that's why she wants to talk about football and how the US women national team can bounce back. Not just by playing better, but by thinking more. We've been so successful for so for so long in a certain way that we play that attack and transition, Haran says. We had individual brilliance. We've had soccer players on the field and real players that want to play and it all and it all kinds of meshed kept together. Or it would always work out. 
or our DNA would take us to this place where we would come out on top because our mentality was so fucking good. The game is changing and Haran recognize, recognizes this. She praised Portugal's level of play at the World Cup, the investment into the game in Spain and other European countries, and the high level of up-and-coming U.S. talent, specifically citing 19-year-old San Diego Wave forward Jaden Shaw. If there was a theme for Haran and the rest of the U.S. women's national team in that final camp of the year, it was a repetitive, a repetitive one, a repetitive one. No one actually knows the ceiling of this team. Even in these past few games, you see little glimpses of that, but it's the final product, continuing to do that throughout the game, getting everyone on the same page, not just four or five players, she says. If you can develop that more, and it's inherent in every single player on the team, you're looking to play the, for you're looking to play the combinations all of these things no idea what this team can do then you have the mentality aspect on top of it where if the football is not going well you know that we can freaking go we have players on the field that are faster stronger capable in behind and we're going to going to gut it out right the world is going to be very fearful. Those words could cause a stir. In 2019, Ali Krieger suggested the U.S. Women's National Team substitutes could take on and beat multiple other teams at the World Cup. And it was a massive point of contention for a team that got plenty more criticism from across American culture even as it was celebrated for its third consecutive title. We have to be one of the most talked about teams, Haran says. We're, we're always in the magnifying glass on every single thing we do or anything we say. Individual players can bear the brunt of that magnifying glass just as, just as the team can. There is a clear through understanding and or there's a clear, there's a clear through understandable vein of frustration from Haran over how her own performances were understood, even from the US Women's National Team own fan base. To illustrate her point, Haran brings up that many viewers will take a television commentator's an analysis at face value. American soccer fans, most of them aren't smart, she says. They don't know the game. They don't understand. But it's getting better and better. She takes a brief pause, sensing <laughs> that those words, too, will cause a stir. I'm going to piss some people. I'm going to piss off some people, she continues. But the game is growing, and the U.S. people are more and more knowledgeable. But so much of the time, people take what the commentators say, right? My mom does it. She breaks into laughter. My mom says, Julie Foudy said you had such a good game. And I'm here just going, I was fucking shit today. <laughs> when playing with Leon in France, Haran says things are different. What um, From what I've heard, people understood my game a little bit more a sense of my football and the way I play she says it is the French culture everyone watches people everyone everyone watches football people know football none of that in though none of that though compares to Haran's experience at the 2023 World Cup the outside commentary including from her own former teammate Carly Lloyd the entrances into the stadiums in their custom suits, the tone used in the interviews, the body language, everything was scrutinized. This time though, the talk about accomplishment by bad performances and bad results. Oh, this oh, this time though, the talk was accompanied, accompanied by bad performances and bad results. 
Haran says she wasn't bothered by the outside criticism, but noted none one, but noted no one else but the players could understand what it was like to be on that team. Ultimately, she says it felt perfectly fine that people would find something to talk about. If you're not backing it up on the field, people are going to come and talk shit about what you're doing, where your priorities are, she says. Like, are you getting ready for the game? Are you caring more about this shit? Haran again comes back to a small, seamlessly, it, what is that, innocuous, innocuous, innocuous detail. The traditional pre-match starting 11 photo. In the end of cell, more and more teams have started using the occasional I uh, have started using the occasion for various, I guess, hijinks. What the fuck? Something that Haran's European teammates bring up as an example of Americans not taking their business seriously. It's clear that it gets under her skin, too. I want professionalism, she admits. Those little things, they really irked me. I don't think I could do it. And maybe I'm wrong in saying that. I don't know. It just bothers me. We put so much into this game, and it's like a joke sometimes. She's quick to point out she's not going to be the one who shuts it down. If it works for others, that's not what she's trying to say. It's just that ultimately, for her, it's about the football. We need to get back to football. We need to get back to the football. The football is the most important thing, Horan says. So maybe we should knock some of that shit out for now. We need to focus on the game. We need to focus on being the absolute best we can be. As captain, Horan can help enact that. It's a role she clearly grown into. It's a role she's clearly grown into. Even as she has struggled to understand it in the months between Andonowski's exit and Hayes hiring. Hayes, Hayes hasn't officially started yet and won't coach in games until her job as Chelsea head coach ends along with the European season in May. But Hayes' December visit with Haran and the rest of the team helped clarify the process, Haran says. It also gave Haran a chance to open up the lines of communication, to admit that sometimes she didn't feel like she had full control, that she hadn't been, uh, that she hadn't been handed, handed the reins. I always felt like I was someone that could really touch on every single player and get the best out of them and try to make them the best that they can be, Haran says. But... Oh, I'm not going to be like rah-rah speeches, all that nonsense. Becky Sauer Rudd and me are probably a little similar in that. Also, Becky Sauer Rudd is also a Gemini, and she actually has the same birthday as me. <clears throat> I'm probably a little more crazy on the field. I just, I, I want to make sure I'm the leader that I want to be. And no one's trying to make me something else. Before Andonowski gave me, uh, before Andonowski gave her the armband, a move made in part because longtime captain Sauerbrunn missed the World Cup due to lingering foot injury, Haran told him that getting the armband wouldn't change her or how players could talk to her. What it would change, she told him, is the tone it would set. She wanted to be a role model. I'm not going to be a coach. I'm not going to be a coach's captain. I'm going to be a player's captain, she told Antonowski. So if that wasn't what he wanted, then he shouldn't be he shouldn't make her a captain. Haran has lived up to her word since interim head uh, coach Toila stepped in leaning on Morgan, Lavelle, and Sonnet to make them part of the transitional process. She has empowered the team's relative newcomers too. Then the normally resentent the fuck the word? Twenty-three year old 
23 year old uh, center back, Naomi Gurma, also Gemini gang gang. Gurma's a Gemini, a Gemini. Uh, all these Geminis uh, and Haran encouraged me to just find my voice. A lot of these new players, a lot of these new young players are going to have big freaking roles, even this Olympics, Haran says. How the hell do we get the best out of them to go put us on the podium? It's been a crazy place, but this is really exciting. But this is a really exciting role for me because I felt like this is what I'm meant to do. The team has four months until Hayes takes over and six until the Olympics. The sprint is very much on the massive group project to reestablish the team at the top. Before looking ahead to the 2027 and before looking ahead to 2027 and a World Cup that could be hosted at home, every voice matters to Haran. From Haran to Lavelle to Morgan to Gurma to Shaw and beyond. We need to be doing everything we possibly can to be improving, to make each other better, holding the standards. Haran says, we need to change every bit of the culture that we had prior to the last World Cup and going into this Olympics because we need to win. And that starts now. All right, shout out to Meg and Haran. Um, that was what Haran said. Very interesting. I'm feeling it. I I like it. I'm not just saying that because Haran's a Gemini, but um, <clears throat> I'm not just saying that because she's a Gemini. But I mean, I think that uh, this is great. We need leaders, and I think that a lot of people. She said um, a lot of good things. Let's get back to football, and. Um, I'm here for it because at the end of the day, that's the core essence of why we watch the game, football. Everything else is all outside noise. And um, yeah, so Haran um, is a player's captain. So she's setting the tone um, for the ladies of the future. And um, I can get behind her. I, I don't think she said anything wrong. Um, I don't think she said anything wrong. But these are the up, uh, these are the other headlines that um, that the media put out there. This is what I saw. That's why I was like, "What the fuck, Haran? Lindsay Haran blasts USA supporters, American soccer fans. Most of them aren't smart." <laughs> Uh, that was the first one I saw. Then I saw the other ones. But she said a lot more things um, in, <clears throat> in the article that we just read. Um, but yeah, listen, she's a Gemini. So she's just expressing how she's feeling. I resonate with her a lot because <clears throat> a bunch of... I resonate with Lindsay Haran uh, a lot on just, just how she... Just because I'm a Gemini, I understand every word that she's saying and just get back to football. And that is that is so important um, when it comes to... And it's crazy because a lot of the, the future players, like Gurma's, Gurma will be the net, one of the, our leading ladies next. She's a future captain and she's also a Gemini. I'm just saying, Gemini is back in this bitch, all right? Jimmy is coming back and Emma Hayes is a Libra. Uh, so it, it makes sense that Emma is an air sign, Haran is an air sign, Gurma air sign, Sarabran an air sign. That it's going to be, and we're in the age of Aquarius. We're in the age of information. We're in the age of we're going to be communicating with each other. It's got, it's all about that old shit, that old belief, that. The old shit in the past is no longer. It's it's over. We have shifted. We are already in a new time, a new time period. So, the you know I love Carly Lloyd, and I think she got a lot of shit hated on. I think Carly Lloyd was a, a she, because Carly Lloyd was so vocal. I think she got hated on too, and I don't want Carly to stop not being vocal because they need that. That they need that that post that uh, that sideline commentary, and so that's why you that's why 
And the commentators are very important. Like, even in the article, because, you know, it resonates with me because I do these commentaries. And some of these, some of the, if you listen to these commentators, they're, first of all, it's different. It's just different. Some of them have played, so you get you get to hear it from a perspective from a player that has played football. When y'all tune into me and my commentaries, I've never played football. The only thing, the only way I'm able to actually give you stories on the players is by watching them play. I'm, I've never played football in my entire life. I'm an observer that has not played football. I'm a a, a fan. I'm a supporter, and the only all my infer- football knowledge has come from watching the game, and that's what's so great about you know just being being an observer of the game, and then deciding to just present yourself um, on these platforms because we all have different perspectives. So I'm an individual that has never played football, but I enjoy the game. And I watch, and I tell you how I feel. And I'll, I'll tell. And we know we, we tell we tell the players when y'all are trash, when y'all can do better. Do you not know how to play football? Like that's what we want. We always start talk about. Listen, I, the players need to like y'all have to develop the players if they're lacking in a skill. That is your job. You want them to be the best football player for your team to win trophies. If they can't make a simple pass, if they're not good under pressure, if they can't handle the simple things, well they need more practice. And you need to to either hire a development coach that specializes in something that you see the player lacks so they can develop that or you have to scout different players that already have that archetype or already have that skill developed and when it comes to usa and um uh, yeah I, I enjoy carly lord too it, and i and i think uh carly lord hope solo even though hope solo had a lot of like outside stuff she was very vocal too <clears throat> She really got she got a lot of trouble for being vocal, unfortunately. Um, but um, Haran, I think this does really help set the tempo. And, and as a USA supporter, I'm I'm hundred percent behind her and everything that she said. That let's get back to football. Let's talk about football. How can the teams be better? Um, so like we won't have like no political shit with USA. That whole Rapino Trump. That's all bullshit. That's all Matrix. Like we don't give a fuck about that shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. Who gives a fuck about that shit? No one did. I didn't give a fuck about that shit. I don't give a fuck about presidents. That shit's an illusion. That's Matrix. We have to find the simplest things in this matrix to be able to even dive deeper into it because they'll distract us from the game that distracts us from the game. So, yes, let's get back to football. Let's talk more about football. Haran, I'm 100 percent behind what you said. And, um, you know, with Haran, what I do enjoy about uh, Haran was is. She's played. She's plays a lot of football for Leon. Like when Leon signed her, like she's a she's a, she was an immediate like pretty much starter. Like she played a lot for Portland, um, and it makes sense now that you know she. I don't think she went to college or something. She went. She went right overseas as a young lady, um, going to PSG. I think that's what they said. She went to PSG, so she she resonates with the France frequency vibration. So she went to France, came back to America, was with Portland, and now she's back with Leon. And um, I do think this helps her when it comes to, she's a creative player. She's a player that likes to connect and she ha- she's tall too. So she has, the, she's, a, she's, a, she's a good archetype for her position. Um, and like I said, being a Gemini, she's a messenger, just like me. She's a messenger, so she has to give these messages. And she's the captain now, a co-captain with others, but she's the captain. So she's she's doing her job, and I think she's going to step right into this very flawlessly. And uh, like I said, Gemini says a lot of things. I say a lot of things. Kanye West says a lot of things. Donald Trump says a lot of things. We got some of the best people, um, entertainers, sports athletes that are Gemini's. The minute we open our mouths, you know we might say some radical shit, okay? You may say some shit you don't like. I tell you, you know, I had to talk shit. It's just the archetype of Gemini. So I'm not surprised she's getting so much backlash. 
uh, before saying her truth because people don't like people being authentic to themselves and people don't like people not giving a fuck about what you think about their opinion and that's gemini you think that i care about your opinion of what you think of me or what i said that gemini thinks too much to think about what you think about us that's our archetype and we don't have time to do that because we're the messengers we're here to give you a message you have to take the message and do as you please with it we don't care about your opinion like so for the USA, for the USA supporters that are mad at her, she doesn't give a fuck, nigga. Like I, don't, I don't think you understand. Kanye kind of don't, Kanye kind of don't give a fuck that he changed his teeth uh, to platinum gold or whatever the fuck. He got hundred, he got like fifty, hundred and fifty racks in his teeth. Kanye kind of don't give a fuck about that. Donald Trump don't give a fuck that y'all got mad because he said grab him by the pussy. They don't keep the, Trump don't, he's rich too. Trump don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? He don't, he don't give a fuck. He don't give a fuck. No, he don't give a fuck. But <clears throat> with um, because we are shifting at times, and so the new leaders are us, like the people that are willing to present themselves. And since we've been lived in a world where the leaders were, are very corrupt and it was always me first before the collective it was always me first. Haran is now allowing the USA to shift um, the narrative in not it's not just about me. It's about the team. It's about the essence of football. It's about football. It, and we want to focus that on that. So she's allowing the collective to shift back to football. We don't want to know too much about your personal life unless you share it, but we really don't. We really don't. We really don't. It's just how you do you play out there on the football field together as a collective? And where can you improve? And how do y'all play? And, and how do you play against other teams with different formations and stuff like that? So it's going to be a lot more, um, you know, I think that's, I think it's good. Even with the draft class that we saw in the end of his cell, when we watched when I watched the draft, how expressive the ladies were about or and they were just very aware, very confident and expressive of of they know the position that they're in. Some of them were champions coming in. They're aware of their teammates, calling them out. Like literally, I I know I'm calling you out by name. So I think overall in general, this is gonna help the realm of football. This is gonna help Team USA as a collective. Uh, and I look forward to seeing how this translates to the football field. Because at the end of the day, we want to see how USA will be able to perform at the Gold Cup. Um, I don't think uh, any of the backlash that they may have will affect them. Right now, they have to figure out how they're going to play because they're still new. Like they're still new to understand. Like she said, she doesn't know how she doesn't know their ceiling. Like we know USA has talent, but we don't know like, damn, like, what is their best lineup? Like, especially when we get players back like Swanson and, and maybe Macario. We don't even know USA's best lineup because not all of our best players are healthy, you know? So it's going to be very interesting. Um, it's going to be very interesting uh, to see uh, how Team USA end up coming out and, I, and of course uh the gold cup is going to be one of their first big tests uh unfortunately it's not it's like emma's not even going to be there emma's not even going to be there for uh the gold cup so it's like we're gonna have uh twyla 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 that's her name or something like that so it should be very very good interesting but that's what lindsey Horan said and um uh, I wanted to I wanted to read it and I uh yeah I'm cool with it. I don't uh Team Gemini all day every day, you know what I'm saying? This bitch. But anyways, y'all, I want to thank y'all for tuning in once again to Anita's joint. Hashtag extended joint where every day is payday, baby. It's your girl Anita flying high, flying out of this third dimensional reality, and I'ma see y'all on the next one. Deuces.